Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Esther Musiwa, if you're new here. And so I've been so busy for a while. That's why I've not been posting, but I'm back. And yeah, so today is on a Sunday and I haven't done one, I haven't done any inspirational video. And so I decided why not? And today is on a Sunday so let us uh start this video and i know god is going to bless us so today i want to encourage a brother a sister that with god everything is possible and you are going to find it from the book of matthew chapter 19 verse 26 and it says but jesus looked at them and said with man this is impossible but with God, all things are possible. So, with man, huh? this thing, this thing is impossible. But with God, everything, all things are possible. You may be there, you are jobless. You may be there, you are not married. You may be there, you haven't uh, uh, received, uh, you have not received a baby or conceived a baby. I want to tell you, you may you may think that it is impossible, that is with man, but with God, everything is possible. In all these things with God, it is possible. And I want to encourage someone, if you're going uh, through a lot, maybe one of those things that I've said, I want to encourage you and tell you that with God, everything is possible. And what you need to do is just pray. Pray, pray, pray. And I'm going to give few examples from the from the Bible. Uh, stories from the Bible. Uh, we start with the story of Hannah. Hannah was a barren woman, but she kept on praying. She prayed to God. Each and every time she went to the temple and prayed. And she never stopped to pray until when God blessed her with somewhere and i want to encourage someone here you have been going through a lot and you just uh just lose hope there is no time to lose hope you just need to pray pray you pray until something happens that is what i encourage you pray until something happens pray you know we like uh, we as christians we just like uh we just want to pray and then forget because it is prayer, it should be a habit for you. Pray at all times. That is what the Bible tells us. We should pray at all times. Mm? Pray without ceasing. Uh, there is no way that you are going to say that I'm praying today, tomorrow I won't pray. Or I'm going to pray this week, uh, the other week you're not going to pray. You are, you are supposed to pray each and every time. Every day you are supposed to pray. And Hannah is a is a is a nice story that explains to us that she never stopped praying until when she got that baby and also she, she continued to pray. So in that situation that you are in sister or brother, hmm, that is God, that is God in heaven. Pray to that God. You don't have a job, pray to that God, to your to God, huh? the God of Israel. Who is seated at the throne pray to to that god hmm? the god of israel he's there he's there seated at his throne so we all need to pray each and every day pray ask god god i need a job hmm? god i need a husband you may be you, you don't have a husband or maybe you don't have a wife and it, it to you it seems that time has gone maybe you are at, at 40s but with God, everything is possible. With Him, He is a mighty God. Mm -hmm. So all that you need to do, you just have to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Mm -hmm. Until something happens. And another story that we get from, from the book of uh, Exodus, chapter 14. You are going to, to read about the story of Moses and the Israelites. When the Israelites came from Egypt, when Pharaoh released mm -hmm. Israelites, he brought them 
now to the promised land. But you know, it was not an easy journey. So it reached a point where the Israelites were in a place and the Egyptians were coming uh, for them because they had released them. But Pharaoh changed his mind and said, oh, how come you have released the Israelites? Can we follow them? So they followed them. And when they followed them behind, when they reached in some point where there was no way, we found there was no way. And at the, at the back of them, there were the, Egypt, the, the Egyptians who were coming. But God made a way for them because God is that mighty God. He's going to make a way for us. It may seem impossible for men, but with God, with God, everything is possible. So my brother, my sister, whatever that you are going through, I, need, I want to encourage you and tell you that with God, all things are possible they are possible it doesn't matter what it is eh? have seen him doing amazing things to my life and i'm here to encourage someone you are there maybe you're in depression you can come out of that depression you just need to pray yeah the god that we serve the god that i serve he is a mighty god mm. and that's why i said i'm going to do these inspirational videos because there is God, there is God in heaven, and we have forgotten about it. I don't know, uh, I don't know it is the generation that we are in, but I'm here to encourage someone and tell the same God, He is the same today and forevermore. He will never change. God is not a man, God is not a man to lie, He is the same God. And in that situation that you are in, just need to go. Go to that secret dwelling and pray and tell God, God, I don't have a job. Give me a job. Yeah, I don't have a husband. Give me a husband. Yeah, I don't have a baby. God, you are the one who creates. Yeah, he's the one who, who gives us the, uh, these gifts. I need one, God, and I'm sure God is going to give you. Yeah, he is a mighty God. And also another story from the Bible, we get it from Acts chapter 16. You're going to read it because I want to read it for you. Acts chapter 16 verse 25 uh, downwards. This is when Paul and Silas were imprisoned. They were in prison. And you know what Paul and Silas did? They, 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 they prayed and they sang, pray, sing. Pray, sing. Even when you're in that eh, situation, that bad situation, just need, you need to pray. You need to sing for the Lord. And you know when you do that, amazing things are going to follow. Amazing things are going to follow, I'm telling you. And when Paul and Sila prayed, the doors, those, those, those prison uh, gates, they did what? They fell. Huh? They fell. And they were able to get out of that prison. In that situation, you are in pray. I say pray. Pray until something happens. Because this God can do wonders. Can do wonders. Mm. You don't have to be broken. At, uh, you don't, you, you're not supposed even to look at someone uh, like he's doing well. Yeah. God has blessed us someone, but now you need also to tell God, please God, bless me. I know so I also need to be blessed. Yeah. And I'm sure God is going to, to hear your prayer, is going to answer your prayer. So today just need to encourage a brother and sister that with God all things are possible. All things, name those things. Name those things that you, you, you think that are impossible. Mm? You may see uh, the doctors are say that you are, you are sick, you are not going to be healed. I'm here to tell you that God, the almighty God who is in heaven, can heal you. Yeah. And I just need you, to, I just need you to have that faith. Just have that faith. And God is going to help you. God is going to do wonders to your life. And I'm here to encourage someone because the God that I serve, I know him, he can do wonders to your life. And 
you are going to say praise. You are going to sing praise to, to our God and say, yeah, he has did it. He has done it for me. And he will continue doing for us. So you just don't need to sit there, eh, be lonely. You are going to feel like you are going down. I don't know, you are depressed. No. You need to call upon the name of the Lord and tell him, tell him what you, you want. Tell him and he's going to fulfill the desires of your heart. So today I just needed to share with you this, guys. I hope you are blessed. I'm also blessed. Today is on a Sunday and I feel blessed. So I'm going to, to end this video uh, at this point. May, may God bless you all. Until next time. Bye.